Number 9. All Boozed Up Judges often see cases of people drunk driving or participating in other unfortunate activities while intoxicated. One judge from Southern Texas decided to figure out what it's like on the other side of the coin. 49-year-old Nora Longoria was a judge on the 13th Court of Appeals. She'd been working for quite a while, so it wasn't like she didn't know the law. Besides, we're pretty sure everyone knows drunk driving isn't safe. Well, apparently Nora didn't get the memo and decided to go for a joyride after getting drunk out of her mind. She was stopped by a police officer for a traffic violation, and when she got out, the cops didn't even need to do a breathalyzer test. Of course, it's not like she was even willing to take one in the first place. She literally couldn't keep her balance after exiting the car. In fact, she kept swaying from side to side and had big, red, glossy eyes. After failing her sobriety tests, she thought it'd be a good idea to try emotional blackmail, so she started yelling at the officers, saying they were ruining her career and life by arresting her since she'd worked hard for over 25 years to be where she was. On top of this, she also refused to be handcuffed and admitted to drinking five beers earlier that evening. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. That being said, she was eventually arrested and taken to the station. Since her actual violations weren't overly egregious, she later posted a small $2,000 bond and was released from custody. Her reputation was ruined forever. Number 8. Violent Mother As the saying goes, sometimes you have to take things into your own hands. This Nevada judge probably took that a bit too literally, though. She decided to dish out physical punishment in her own home. 48-year-old Stephanie Miley was a district court judge in Clark County and had been in the business for well over 15 years. She was elected to family court in 2004 and started her term in 2005. But in 2019, her life was dramatically changed as she went through a divorce. So you can probably guess that the situation probably wasn't ideal at home. Instead of taking things up with the law, which she was very well versed in, she just couldn't keep herself under control anymore. She didn't go after her estranged husband, Edward Miley. Instead, she let her anger out on her 18-year-old son. Apparently, Stephanie started beating her boy while they were driving. Oh, and she bruised him pretty bad too. So much so that she was later charged with one count of domestic battery. What's more, her eight-year-old son was also in the car during the incident, making the whole thing even more messed up. The only reason she got caught was that the boy told his father in a text message that she'd hit him in the face and head. Her attorney, David Chesnoff, said in a statement that she intends to vigorously defend herself against the allegations. Well, probably should have vigorously defended herself against the violent impulses too. Interestingly enough, she was never actually prosecuted and continued working as a judge for another couple of years before resigning in January 2021. Number 7. Naughty Grandpa Imagine a 67-year-old man who's not only a Vietnam War veteran, but also a judge that is actively fighting the war on drugs. Sounds like a good dude, right? Well, as it turns out, you shouldn't judge a book by its cover since this one from Atlanta was chock full of dark secrets. Senior Judge Jack T. Camp had been working in law for decades and had built a reputation for handing out stiff sentences particularly against drug convictions. Plus, he'd reached a seniority level where he had a much lighter caseload than most people. But it seems like old Grandpa Camp didn't spend his extra time reading books and mowing his lawn. Instead, he turned to the wild nightlife that his city had to offer. Yep, the man started visiting clubs and paying strippers. Of course, there's nothing inherently wrong with going to a strip club. What is wrong, though, is adding sex and cocaine on top of it. After his first lap dance, he just kept coming back and even started seeing a stripper outside the club. Not to mention, the two regularly bought and got high together. Apparently, Gramps also carried a semi-auto handgun on him to protect the woman while they were doing drug deals. How sweet. What's more, he even told the stripper he'd help her with her criminal record and helped her learn how to trap a potential employer. Now, did you for a second think that this couldn't get worse? Well, think again, because yes, Camp was married with two grown children during all of this. But here's the real stinger. The stripper was an FBI undercover agent and had been appointed to build a case against him. Also, even the drug dealers he'd been meeting with were all undercover cops. 
So of course, not only did the dude get caught red-handed, but they also found a stash of pills and guns in his car. Still, he was only sentenced to serve a month in prison, likely due to his connections. Do you believe it's true that the rich and powerful and connected get away with more? Tell us in the comments below and hit subscribe while you're at it. Number 6. Gross Comments Judges set the tone in the courtroom, and if it's a case like sexual assault, then you have to take it seriously. In 2016, though, a New Jersey judge completely screwed up and said something so terrible that he was actually fired from his job. Superior Court Judge John Russo Jr. was presiding over a hearing in which a woman wanted a restraining order against a man who'd allegedly sexually abused her. As she described the details of her encounter with the defendant, which included him forcing her to have sex, Judge Russo turned into, for lack of a better term, a disgusting sicko. He asked her if she knew how to stop somebody from having intercourse with her. And while the question was strange, she replied with yes, saying she could physically defend herself and run away. The judge then proceeded to ask if she knew any other methods, to which she said, I, that's all I know. That's when Russo decided to dig the grave for his career as he replied with, block your body parts, close your legs, call the cops, did you try that? Oh, and if you thought this was just a lapse in judgment, think again, because the judge made gross comments about the exchange after the woman left the courtroom. Thankfully, all these things were recorded on the hearing transcript. As a result, Russo was not only fired, but banned from working in the state entirely. Number 5. Courthouse Threesome In January 2020, a Kentucky judge's daring personality got too out of hand as she allegedly had a threesome inside the courthouse. Dawn Gentry was a family judge in Kenton County, where she'd been working for almost a year when she decided to push the limits of what was acceptable. She took the courtroom's name a bit too literally since she actually courted two people to have a sexual relationship. Oh, but that's not even the whole story. Turns out she was also unjustly retaliating against employees who didn't support her campaign, so she was literally juggling love and war at the same time. It's believed she hired her lover, who was a former pastor, and even let him play guitar and sing in the office. Not to mention, all this was happening during the average workday with others around. Also, they frequently drank all day long and even convinced other employees to join in on the fun. Soon, the two brought another court employee on board, a woman to spice up their sex life. And of course, what better way to do that than having a threesome inside the office, right? Well, we guess other people didn't like all the gavel banging happening in the courtroom, which meant that Gentry was charged with multiple counts of misconduct. That being said, while she initially denied the allegations and was ready to serve a short two-month suspension, she actually ended up getting a four-year ban from practicing law altogether. Number 4. Deviant Judge Let's be fair. Judges are human and prone to making mistakes, even when they're presiding over cases. This former Oklahoma judge, though, probably knew what he was doing when he exposed himself multiple times during a trial. Donald Thompson had been a judge for almost 23 years and had even served as a state legislator before retiring in 2004. But it seems like things got out of hand during the final few years of his tenure, since apparently he used to openly show off his genitalia during cases. This happened at least 15 times between 2001 and 2003. Oh, and he wasn't just flashing people. The dude was touching himself inappropriately too. Turns out, he was using a penis pump under his desk. Though according to him, it was a joke gift from a friend and he wasn't hiding it. What's more, the married father of three said that while he did absentmindedly squeeze the pump's handle during court, he never actually used it. Not sure why you had to take the pump to a hearing in the first place, Donald, but that's beside the question. Here's the funny part. Investigators found evidence of him using it. Yup, a police officer testified that in a 2003 murder trial, he saw a piece of plastic tubing disappear under the man's robes. Not to mention, a whooshing sound could also be heard on the trial's audio tapes. The real nail in the coffin, though, was when investigators actually found semen on the carpet and Donald's robes. So after a long trial, in 2006, Thompson was sentenced to four years in prison. Number 3. Love Thy Enemy Alright, even if you're a judge sentencing someone for a crime, you've got to have some human compassion, right? 
Well, yeah, but probably not as much as one judge from Argentina. Mariel Suarez is a judge in the Chubut province and was on a panel overseeing a police officer's murder. The crime was pretty cut and dry. A statement from court even described the suspect, Christian Bustos, as a dangerous man. So you'd assume they unanimously decided on a life sentence. Nope. Mariel was the only person on the panel to vote against a life sentence. Instead, she wanted a reduced sentence for the man who'd already admitted to shooting and killing the cop. Obviously, she was vastly outweighed by the other votes, and the man did get a life term, but the story didn't end there. Apparently, Mariel felt really bad for our poor murderer, so she went to visit him in jail and talk. A few minutes into the meeting, the judge was caught on camera kissing Bustos in jail. Funnily enough, she claimed they were not actually kissing and only talking while being super close so others couldn't hear them. And the reason for that? Well, she said she was writing a book on him and only had a working relationship. Whether she was whispering sweet nothings to him or getting info for her book remains to be seen. Number 2. Zoom Hearing In November 2022, a Colombian judge was suspended after she got a bit too casual during a live virtual hearing. 34-year-old Vivian Polania was overseeing a terrorist car bomb attack case, so it wasn't the average court hearing. Of course, for a critical live virtual meeting, you'd expect everyone to be on their best behavior and come fully prepared. Well, not Vivian since she turned up in a t-shirt and underwear. What's more, she was actually smoking during the hearing. To be fair, she probably wasn't expecting her video feed to be turned on, which is something we've all been through during the last few years. What wasn't acceptable was the fact that she was basically not even paying attention. Still, as soon as someone complained and pointed it out, she rushed to turn her camera off. It was too late though, as the Judicial Disciplinary Commission quickly handed her a three-month suspension. This wasn't Polonia's first controversy either. In fact, only a few months before this, she got into trouble for having indecent photos on her Instagram page, where she describes herself as brawless and open-minded. What's more, she's also got a bunch of side hustles, like promoting some American brands. So we're sure she'll make headlines again soon. Number 1. Meatball Thief We've heard of judges abusing their power to get a favor, but this Swedish judge committed a crime that came completely out of left field. The 67-year-old Supreme Court Justice had been serving on the bench for almost two decades, but apparently this wasn't enough time for her to learn that stealing is a crime. The fascinating thing here is that she didn't steal anything too expensive. Instead, she shoplifted at a grocery store in central Stockholm. Apparently, she was caught picking up ham, meatballs, sausages, and cheese in a woven bag. It wasn't a small amount either. She was hoarding the stuff probably for a nice Christmas dinner. While she admitted to the fact that she did take the items, she denied any intention to steal them. Guess it must have been a faulty self-checkout machine. Obviously, no one bought her story, and she was issued a fine for over $5,000. Not to mention, she had to resign from her post after reports emerged. Well, looks like she ruined Christmas for herself. Thanks for watching. If you could go back in time and be the judge for any famous case, which one would you choose? And would you change the verdict? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. See you next time on The Bad Badger.